Welcome back to another review, my friends. Today we are reviewing the PowerSmart gas mower. We're gonna open up this mower and we're gonna show you everything that you get within the package and go from there. Now this PowerSmart, I will admit, this is not my first PowerSmart mower. I've had another one for over four plus years and I have put it through every test you possibly could and it's last long. This is PowerSmart's gas self-propelled 209cc lawnmower. This beautiful machine is rear wheel drive, provided more traction for all terrain, mowing fast for a sizable yard. This three-in-one mower has a side discharge, mulching capabilities, and a rear bag discharge. Use the rear bag and this machine can clean up dead leaves and grass while mowing. Cutting depth adjustment is amazing on this. It has a five position height adjustment from 1.18 inch to three inch, suitable for all kinds of grass. The powerful 209cc engine delivers unbeatable power for better cutting. Equipped with recoil starter for easy pull start and the nice thing about this is it's got quick folding function. It can quickly be folded without any tools due to the foldable hand design. It can save space by keeping your garage, your shed, your warehouse less cluttered so you can have more toys. This is the Power Smart Mower. Every man's dream mower. What's nice is you can adjust the front end right with this lever here and you can go all the way up to five so and start all the way down from one. The back is also height adjustable as well for that perfect cut that you're looking for. Some accessories that are provided will be your grass little hopper here. This will be your grass bag and collects grass that you can, grass leaves and, you know, other stuff that you can easily dump. As well as if you don't want to use the chopping mode, if you want the grass to fly out the side, you can easily mount this on, which we'll show you guys then. They also provide you with a funnel for putting oil in, uh, maybe for gas, I believe it's for the oil, and a manual, and also... Uh, how to guide plus your bolts that you need so you get everything that you need my friends and putting the bag has never been more easy you just lift this flap up and this is how it's gonna line up lift the flap up once the flap is up you then simply slide these pins down here so slide that to the bottom and there you go it's that simple it's really that easy Take the two bolts that are found in the bag and thread them in both sides of the handle. Okay, once you have the handle, make sure you have this bolt facing that it sets down in, and then you just simply twist and turn to make it tight. It's, I'm telling you guys, PowerSmart makes everything so simple and easy to do. Even for the bolts, now this is impressive. Even the bolts, you could use a screwdriver to put these in or Now, when you put gas in and when you have oil in, you pump it, I always like to pump it three times. So you put, take your finger here on the back of this, one, two, three, and then give it, you know, three seconds, then go and start it. 
It might not start the first time because as is airing the line and as the fuel goes through the line, uh, so it might take a couple pulls the first time to get it to fire up. Make sure you're holding your handle down when you're pulling on it. So it's not gonna start if you have your handle up like that. So keep it pulled down with your one hand, then with your other hand, go ahead and pull to start it a couple times till it starts. If you're wondering where the filter's at, you just pull back on this and pop off and the filter's right in there. I don't recommend taking that off too often and obviously, please do not take this off while it's running. They give you, I'm telling you guys, Power Smart is the next John Deere. That's my personal opinion. I like Power Smart that much that I think they're going to give John Deere a run for their money. And of course, because Power Smart makes everything extremely easy for the customer, for putting on the side um, blower, you just simply lift this up like this, and then you place this down in. Let me show you guys how it looks. You would lift this up and then you place those pins under uh, behind that little metal rod in there and then you just simply set it down and it's good to go. Now, for those who want to keep it on permanently, Power Smart already has your back. While they also have two holes that you can drill down in. Make sure if you're using screws that they're small enough and not long. And you just simply drill down in the metal so use your drill bit, drill out your hole, make the hole smaller than these holes. Right in there, there's a little indent to let you know, and also on the other side. That's how amazing Power Smart is. They make it that if you want it permanent, great, you can do it permanent. If you don't, you can just do it temporarily. You lift up the flap, slide it in like this, set it down, you're good to go. That's how amazing Power Smart is. My friends, once season comes and once the grass grows we'll be doing a second video to show you guys we're still coming out of fall well i mean excuse me we're still coming out of winter and as you guys can see the grass is still not green uh spare at some spots so once it season comes we'll do an update show you guys it actually in action my friends but i'm impressed how easy they make it so easy again one bolt in here, one bolt in here, lift up the arm. Once the arm is lift up, tighten these right in here. Put your oil right in here. So your oil goes in here and do not overflow. Please do not overflow. It's better to pour a little bit, put it in, check your dip, and then pull it back out and check. You can lift up the cutting level of the front right with this lever. And the same thing for the back right there. Your filter is right here now for this let me show you guys how this is going to work slowly pull this out okay you slowly pull it out and you need to put your foot down right where i have mine don't step on the plastic and you pull this up now loop it like this okay loop it in the hole like that which you're going to come from underneath you're going to come from behind and loop it in and now you can set it down right there now you're good to go now you're ready to pull to start it once the gas is in the oil is in and everything's set up don't pull it from the very bottom pull it once you have it right here now gas is in you have the throttle pulled back now you're going to go ahead and pull it to start it for the people that do want to know when you pull this down this is your throttle cable this will be the throttle line going right down into here uh, check it once in a while make sure it doesn't actually come out or else it'll get against this hot because um, this can get hot what you can do is you can actually bend this up if you want to protect it even better you can bend it up like that which I personally recommend so this little black it's flexible um, I would bend that up that way it just stays away from both sides but again guys again I love it and for those who want to know what it looks like underneath, which I do not recommend doing this unless it's completely empty of oil and empty 100% of gas. But this is how it looks underneath. 